Letting students know learning expectations and sharing feedback on tasks is made easier with rubrics in Google Classroom and Google Assignments. When I first started using Google Classroom, I would include a rubric as a second attachment. Both myself and the students would need to open a second document to access the rubric. However, Google Classroom, and for our friends out there using Google Assignments, has a rubric integration feature built right in. Once you click Create an Assignment and give it a title, on the right-hand side, you see the Add Rubric option. You can create a rubric, reuse a rubric, or import one from Sheets. Now, the rubric can be used for traditional point rubrics or for standards-based grading. Google gives you the flexibility to personalize your rubrics. Students will receive a copy of this rubric with their assignment. The best part is how you are able to use the rubric when you grade student submissions. You will see the rubric right next to the work students submitted. All you have to do is click on the criteria they meet and add any additional comments before you send the rubric and the assignment back to the student. When the assignment is returned, the student sees the feedback on the rubric and the comments the instructor left. Plus, this rubric is now saved in your classroom or Google Assignments and can be used for another assignment or class. So in order to add a rubric to an assignment, you click on this plus button rubric. And I'm going to show you how to do it from import from sheets. Now you can't just do a regular sheet. You actually have to format it correctly. And I've included some templates that you can save to your drive and use them. So when you click import from sheets, it'll bring up your recent spreadsheets um, from Google. And I'm going to click this first one that says Google Assignments. And what this does, it'll lay it out for me. It fills in um, the basic information for me. So if I need to change the criteria title to something different, I can change the criteria title. And again, if I need to include a description, I can do that. Your points can go um, up or they can go down depending on what you would like. You can label your level title and then you can add a specific description to go along with it, it to be as more detailed. If you decide you only want it to be out of four points and there's five points, you just delete this level. You can choose to go from ascending or descending and it'll change it for you like that. Points are required. Level titles and descriptions are optional, um, but I think the more information that you can provide for your students um, the easier it's going to be for them to understand what's expected. And again, you'd have to go through each level to delete if you didn't want the five points there. The reason why I like to use the template is because it gives me a great shell to start with. And after I've gone through and I've updated all of the uh, descriptions of each of these level titles, I can go ahead and save my rubric. You can see now there's four criteria and it's going to be 16 points. And then I can save my assignment. The other way to add a rubric is to create one from scratch. So you click create rubric and then you have to fill in all this information. And if you want to add more levels, you add more levels. As you can see, it's going to take a little bit longer since I'm not using a template to start with, but then you would go through and whatever you, you would label your level title and you would add your description to go along with it. The best thing about rubrics is once you've created it and saved it, you can reuse it. So you can be as detailed as you would like um, to help students understand what they're trying to master as they're doing your assignments. And once I've added all the criteria that I would like, I just click save and it's now there. So now that I've saved these rubrics, you can click on rubrics and you can reuse and you can see the ones that have been saved and used. You can also switch between classes if you've used them with a different class um, that you would like to, to save and use. But any saved use rubrics, you would find and you reuse those rubrics again. So I encourage you to give rubrics a try as you're uploading assignments to your Google Classroom. It's a great way to show students 
you know, the points that they're going for, whether you're doing standard-based grading or if you're just looking for mastery as they're starting to complete um, their tasks and show you their learning.